guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. What do you think of the bangs or fringe? I've been watching Wednesday Adams and I. I dance, dance, dance with my hands. hands. Oh, I can't do the dance. Whatever it is she does. But anyway, I thought I quite like the old uh, fringe. So um, I thought I'd cut one in. I did. It does look better. I nearly said better. -er. There's no such word as better. -er. It does look better. Um, Obviously, when it's straightened, and I'm going out tomorrow night um, for Callie's birthday. I know her birthday's like long gone, it's mine soon. And we're going out, out, all right, out, 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 out. And uh, I'm probably going to cut it even shorter actually tomorrow because I mean, I used to have, <coughs> it's getting in my mouth, I used to have like short like that to there, and then it come down there and then went up at the back. I did like that style, but obviously my hair's really, I nearly said bear long now. I think I'm one of the kids, didn't I? It's bear long. Do you know what I mean? But um, anyway, yeah, so it's, uh, as you can see, it's been cut. I cut it myself. I don't go to hairdressers. I don't do know that. Oh, my log, <laughs> as you know. Um, got a couple of things to show you. Now, uh, vintage. Then in my little loving, so I got this ring. Oh, just mind the fungus, yeah. Please mind the fungus. I've done the. I stuck these stick on nails on. They just literally are stick on nails with super duper super glue. Also, I went online six o'clock this morning. I woke up and I just had this vision, and the vision said, "Lise, get yourself online. Get yourself on old Ebes. See if you can find yourself." Um some super duper super duper strong glue if i can do that um then i don't ever have to sit and do acrylics again i can just stick false ones on like this that should last three to four weeks however i have got a super duper super glue already and these two have already popped off today and that one's popped off twice do you know what i mean anyway uh so vintage i see this little set and i was like oh, i've got to get it so it was this ring here you can't even see how sparkly it is. I mean, it is so, so sparkly that you can't see. And there's the... Come in for a closer look. And there's the earrings to match. Some eyes. <laughs> These are Alicia Dixon. And yeah, you know, when I looked online, I had a look. I thought, let me go and do a bit of research. Went online to see Alicia Dixon jewellery. Can't find them anywhere. Can't find anything about any jewellery that she said. It shows that she did do a a, a line of jewellery, but um, I can't find it. Oh, look, the bingos are out. Bingos, bingos. Um, yeah. Oh, and talking of the old vintage as well. Sometimes I think these people are obviously they don't know what they've got because if you go on the likes of platforms like eBay. And you look for an old vintage 1970s charm bracelet. You're looking at about 38 quid at the lowest. Got a ghost in here. God, something's happening. Well, anyway, I got this. Hang on. Right. Oh, let me get it to the front. Frigging frogging. Or oh, get it to the back, in fact. So, now I got this vintage, right? So, there's the little art. Bit. and it's a vintage charm bracelet i stuck this one on that's a time of sabo charm but it come with this little ring little engagement ring there ah cute and uh whatever that might be i don't even know i can't see it's a very tiny little charm and this little telephone oh you see the sparkles on that ring now look get in there this little telephone charm it's all sterling silver with sterling silver charms. Oh, I got this for me, but no, I freaking didn't. But I've lost a stone out of it already. It is sterling silver. I got it from Vintage as well. Um, that bracelet, I'm like, they don't, do they not know what they've got? £1.50. Yeah, I kid you not. £1.50. Anyway, that's a few of me. I've got a few other vintage bits, but they're in the drawer. When I eventually do my haul, not a haul, we ain't even a haul. Lisa, what are you talking about? When I, I've hurt myself, <laughs> I've just hurt myself. When I do my jewellery, and I'm pointing up there because it's in a big thing behind this. Dora, all right? Um, I'll show you some other, um, what's that say? Transfer games. 
Someone stuck a sticker on one of my bags. It says transfer games 4443 and a takeaway sign. I don't know what that stands for. Anyway. Oh, and I tell you what. So I went to the charity shop. So this is a charity shop haul, yeah. And uh, this was in the week. And then Callie had to go for some cognitive behavioural therapy. Bless her, little cotton picking socks. So while we was down there... Uh, Oh, I'm just rolling me yeah. While we was down there, um, oh, I'm, I'm, I've gone off track. What am I doing? Lisa, use your brain. While we was down there, I thought I'll go in a couple of their charity shops. They've got Bernardo's, they've got an Isabel, and they've got an Age UK. But let me tell you something. I, oh, they are so expensive, right? So, I'll show you. Paulina bought himself a pair of boots, yeah? Bought himself a pair of boots. Now, they were, he checked online, they were 60-something, 60 64, I think. He got them for 24.99. But when you think, I'm not being funny, I know it's for charity, but someone's given you these for free. Do you understand what I'm saying? I told you back back there, over at Old Age UK, around here. Uh, 199 or whatever it was for a pair of Lou Boutons. Oh, and I found out they got nicked. You know I said to you they were sold? No, they weren't. Uh, someone went in and got in the cabinet and took both pairs. Shame on you, thieves. But anyway, before I show you me all, yeah, no, anyway, sorry, I'm going back again, backtracking. Yeah, so we're in some of these charity shops. I did get a couple of bits down there in Age UK, in Age, you know, just in Age UK it was, I think. Isabel was too dear, and Bernardo's, I didn't see anything I liked in there. But like I say, very, very expensive, and you're like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not paying that price. I've just hurt me hand. I'm a twat I am. Anyway. Oh Lisa, what you done, girl? Oh yeah, and we was when we was down there we decided to go into um Tesco's, right? Oh, my god. So why is it I always go to either a cashier that wants to stand and tell me her life story or today's one? I swear I thought I was in the Matrix or something. I thought if this woman gets any slower, she's going to stop, right? She was going like this. Beep. Beep. <laughs> How does she even keep a job? She must only do, in a whole day, if say she works 12 hours, I reckon she might get through about 10 customers. <laughs> <gasps> While everyone else is doing 100, 200, 300. I don't know, bless her. I mean, she was older, bless her. I and mean, I know everyone needs a job, but that kind of job, and I was like, I'm looking around, everyone's gone home, they're already cooking their dinner, aren't they? I'm still waiting up in the queue. Like, oh, God. <sighs> anyway, it's job time. So here we go. Ready? Uh. <laughs> I don't even know you know I laugh at these sometimes <clears throat> right, okay ready for this one what do you call a fake noodle an impasta <laughs> ah, I quite like that one it's tickled little old me uh kid says to his dad dad can you put my shoes on dad says don't think they'll fit me son that's really crap isn't it i've had really bad stomach this week i was meant to be going to the old hospital today to get some blood tests for my liver just especially for my liver but because we was at the traffic was so bad getting Callie to her CBT and she didn't wasn't able to have the full hour i was like i'm never going to get there and back in time so i've got to go good old mumsy and i uh, have you heard the rumour going around about butter? Never mind. I shouldn't spread it. Boom, boom. <laughs> Load of old rubbish. Anyway, here we go. First bag. And this was from Age UK. And Paulina bought himself these. They are brand new. Uh, Box Fresh. Box Fresh, I think they're called. Since 1989. Designed in the UK. That's what it says there. Um, and they did want twenty four ninety nine for them. I mean, they are really nice, and they looked nice on. Um, yeah, 
I mean, they are nice, beautiful colour as well. But when you think, still, I'm thinking, you know, yeah, they are nice. But twenty four ninety nine, they are all leather as well. And I think they were sixty something. Uh, he did. He had a little look online when we was in the shop. I do like the tongue part of it. Yeah, box fresh, you see. So they are nice, um, and they were sixty something 63 64 something like that but it does annoy me because i think with these charity shops i understand that you are trying to raise money for charity although i don't even believe that half the time let me tell you see these charity shops half the time they're taking half the money themselves right they don't they don't send it on to where it's meant to be going and then anyone who actually believes that they fully send all that money on to help their chosen charity you've got to be dumb because they don't they don't they keep half it to themselves they're driving around in their bentley's Bentley? Oh, I like your car. Bentley. Yeah, Bentley. What do you do? I own a charity shop. Yeah, right. Anyway, so this is from Age UK. This is a, I got this for me. This is an ASOS bag. I did like it and I liked it because, yeah, I've just realised she opened it all up to see if I'd stuffed anything else in there. Come on, who's going to nick from a charity shop? Jeez. But anyway, I like it because it's got these big gold tassels hanging off of it, yeah. And um, horses, like gold horses on there. Uh, I'm looking at my outfit because it's hanging up there. Will it go with that? I suppose it would. But I need to wash it. People would not believe this. Oh, sorry, before I carry on. And it was... Three ninety nine. Um... Yeah, I think, it, I don't know if it'll go with my outfit up there. My outfit up there is a bit, got my outfit out for tomorrow. It's a bit more snazzy than this, I'd say. But anyway, I suppose I can check it out. It's nice and big and I can just carry it like that, I suppose. So, yeah, so it's just plain at the back and horses and big tassels, 3 99 Uh Then I got, I dance, dance, dance with my hands. Hang I'm I'm getting really upset. Gina Abacone. Now, this is a 16 and it was 4 99 And it was, I believe, again from I said Age UK, didn't I? But I like it because it's got these bits that are on the shoulders like that. Look, that they hang like that. It's a summer top, but it's got these but at least it smells washed. It smells washed. Obviously, it's gonna go in my machine again a zillion times. But yeah, it's just like a like a top I don't know if it's going to fit me to be honest um because as I said it is only a 16 but I liked the shoulders if not I'll just whack it back on vintage or something but it's nice it's nice material as well but I'll try that but it has to be washed first uh and then I got um this this was again 4 99 from Age UK and it is only a size 14 from Next but when I tested it it was ever so stretchy and I liked how low cut it is so I can go out looking like the hussy that I am <laughs> so it's quite low cut who you're a hussy I'm not a hussy you are a hussy. Maybe I am. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, um, it's got stretch in it, look. It's got to have to fit over my body. And then it's got one nice gold button up there. I don't know why they didn't continue the gold theme all the way down, but they didn't. Um, and it got, oh, it's got some little gold ones here on the uh, cuffs there, though. Look, very B-O-A, B-O-A. Yeah, so you can't really see, but anyway. So I'll hold it up. See how low cut it is? Callie's out there cooking her dinner. She's got herself today um, vegan chicken Kievs and she's having pizza express dough balls. Me, I'm having chicken gyozas with soba noodles. If you've never tried soba noodles, go and get them. That's spelled S-O-B-A. I love them. Love them. And after I've done all this, excuse me, I told you you lot make my nose itch. I'll be making me so me soba noodles. Yeah, so now it's four ninety nine from next. <clears throat> wasn't from next at all it was originally 4.99 from age uk and uh yeah i like that and then i see this and i was like ooh la la i like uh some absolutely beautiful look at this 
gold cutlery. $2.99, that's all they was. So you've got like, it's brand new. So you've got like two gold spoons. I mean, to be honest with you, you could turn around and say, oh, you know, and you know, I've got OCD. Would you eat off of something uh, that someone else has eaten off of? Well, absolutely, because I still go restaurants, still go cafes and stuff. Don't, how many mouths of them spoons and stuff been on? But it's the way you eat it. When you eat off of someone else's forks, not for, yeah, forks and spoons, you have to eat it. I call it the teeth way. So basically, you just take the food off with your teeth opposed to putting cutlery in your mouth but anyway i thought it was really good so 2.99 for all of them we've got two knives two spoons two forks two little forks and two little teaspoons thumbnail told you i'm all cheekbone look all cheekbone mate anyway so that's them that's my first bag then this has got to go in the wash now oh i can sell cali cooking i didn't know it smells really nice i see it and i was like for one ninety nine, I'm going to wash it. Got to get it. It is a massive, humongous rabbit. Look at that. And you know, Cali, you know we've got a little, our little rabbit called Shawnee. He's a little white Netherland dwarf. And he's got big blue eyes, big piercing blue eyes. And he's pure white. And he's tiny. And he looks like Ash. We call him Shotinga. We don't call him Shawnee. It's just Shotinga. It's the name that's stuck. And I thought, he looks like my Shotinga. So, <laughs> I've got that. It's going to go in the washing machine because he looks like my little ding. Yeah. Uh, $1.99. You can't really go wrong, can you? Anyway, so that was the stuff I got today from down near Cali CBT. This lot now that I'm going to show you was from the week when I oh, was hitting the charity shops around here. So, hopefully, I'll remember where they're all from. Uh, firstly, so this one uh, has got new, has got tags on it, so it was brand new, and it was four ninety nine down to two forty nine. Zara, it says it's a large. There's no way that's a large, but I got it for my sister. I mean, it's a bit creased up, obviously, but in the bag, it's got like diamonds hanging off it, as you can see, like that. Yeah, shiny diamond is hanging off it. It's a beautiful top, but that no way looks like a large, does it? No way. I mean, my sister's small. She's not like me. She's not my own sniff. Um, but yeah, Zara, large, brand new. So for two forty nine, can't really go wrong. So I've got that for Tam. Uh, I've got all the receipts in here. Did I say where that was from? That was from. What's it called? Oxfam. Yeah, that was from Oxfam. Sat in my mouth. Uh, I've got all the receipts. Look, we've got Oxfam. And... You're right out there, love. No, the bin isn't now. Oh, well, I can't do anything at the moment. Callie's trying to get the bin out, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Isabel and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, then, uh, from what did I just say? Um, Oxfam. I found this and I think it's meant to be like Betty Boop. So it says, uh, it doesn't say that at all, it says Bebop, but it just made me think of that song by Hanson. Do you remember? Oh, it's got a bit of fluff on there. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was 99p, as you can see. 99p and it's just for me uh yeah so it's got like a like a, a wire in it and then obviously it could go I'm not, I'm not putting it on my head absolutely that's not happening but i will wash it in the machine it should be all right because the outside's material and then i can you might see it on my head when i do another haul when it's been washed uh, then I found this size uh, 14, this is from Oxfam, Adidas top for 2 99 which I didn't think was too bad, so this is for Cali, um, it's just a t-shirt, Adidas, oh, it's small man, small man, uh, I didn't realise how small it was, it looks ever so small, but, um, oh, oh, I don't think that's going to fit her, oh well, vintage it is, she can try it once I've washed it. If not, it will go on to vintage. What size does it say on there? Hang on. Um, UK. Does that say? Does that say UK age thirteen to fourteen? Don't tell me it says that. 
I think it does. Oh, goodness me. That definitely ain't going to fit her, is it? Anyway, there's an Adidas top for Callie, which ain't going to fit her. Anyway, swiftly moving on. Swiftly moving on. Got this for myself. So, this was 3 99 And it's a little cardigan. This was also from Oxfam. Oh, drop it, drop on the deck. Um, so I like it because it's got these like big balloon sleeves and I love balloon sleeves it's like really nice material as well so it's like a nice cardi because I told you I like my jeans <laughs> so I can wear a vest under that you know what I mean and uh, it ties up at the bottom with a well a side tie can you see that pout time ready I'm all cheekbone <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was that. Did I say how much that was? Three ninety nine. It's size large. Let's hope it fits my fatness. Um, then I got these are brand new, and they was four pound. This is from Keach. They were four pound down to a squid. It says size small, uh, and they are small. I'll see if they fit my mother. If not, uh, they'll go unvinted. But they are proper. Peace, man. Like hippie type flares. Look. Now that is a flare and off. It's got like these side tie things. But they're nice jeans, you know. They're brand new. Look. It's got like a tag on the back there. It shows you they're new. Um, yeah, so just a pair of jeans down for a squid low. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Uh, and then I see this and I thought I'll pick it up for Paulina. Um, it was also down to a squid. And this is it was a fiver, extra large, down to the pounds. And uh, it's, it, I don't know if any of you uh, know what a Harrington is. My dad had Harrington jackets. In fact, I've got one of his Harrington jackets in there with all his Arsenal tops. My beautiful dad. Um, but this is like a fake Harrington, so it's like a bomber jacket, but it looks like a Harrington. Um, back in the day, like in the 70s, not 70s, like the 80s, all the skinheads and, you know, they used to dress up, they'd have their tight drain pipes on with their Dr. Martin boots and always in the Harrington jackets. So this is like a Harrington, like I say, but there's nothing wrong with it. It looks practically brand new. And um, let me lift it up like so. See, and that was down to a pound. Come on, you just can't go wrong, can you? Hang on, where is it even? Where is it gone? Oh, there it is. And that was from Keach, as I said, down to a squid. I don't know if I did show you it. Do you know what? I'm getting the old outs, I just don't remember things. I'm not even joking either. I'm telling you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me. Anyway, then. <laughs> Uh, the same place, Keach. This is a man's River Island shirt. I got it for Paulina again, and again it was it was originally four pound down to a pound, and it's an extra extra large because Paulina is a rather large human being. Uh, so there's a that's the it's like a gingham-y effect, I suppose. Um, like so. Nice colour. Actually, it'd go nice with that jacket, wouldn't it? Look. Look at that. Outfit already. Goes with his shoes. And also, he's got a little outfit. Although, I'll tell you, £24.99 is steep. Steep, mate. Steep. But, yeah, so that was a pound as well. So, that's Paulina's. Uh, and then I got... This was down to £3 from six because it is brand new. This is from Keach. And it's originally from... It says flam mode or whatever. This is for my mama, my mama, because she's lost so much weight, she's so skinny. So it's like all shiny, like it's gorgeous. It's got like um, all these shiny bits on the front there, and then it's quite long. But what you could do, I suppose, you can like maybe wear it and then put a belt around the um, hips and like bag it over, I suppose. But yeah, so that's the size large and down to three quid. So I've got that for my mummy. My mummy, mummy. Mama. Ooh. 
Uh, and then, oh, I got this. So this was £4.50. It's a size 14 down to a pound. And I got this for my mum's best friend, Leslie. Um, so, yeah, that's right up her alley. It's like got all little bits of like sequins on there and glitter. Not glitter. What are you talking about, girl? It's got like little sequins, look. So, yeah, that's, I mean, come on, you can't go wrong, can you, again, for a quid. And that's for my mum's friend, Leslie. Uh, anyway, I'm moving on to my last bag now. Oh, that reminds me. I have got another everything5pound.com haul. Because, hang on, let me just stretch these granny legs. Oh, my knees. <laughs> can't wait for my sober noodles. I'm starving. I'm ain't Marvin, starving. Um, yeah, so, what was I saying? What was I saying? Could someone help me? Anyway, what was, I, what was I saying? Do you know what? I told you, I'm losing the plot. I only just started speaking about whatever I was speaking about a second ago and I forgot what I was talking about. Leslie, top. Sober noodles. Granny knees. No, I've lost it. Sorry. Anyway, so I'm going to go on to this bag. I told you. I tell you, I need to go to doctors about my memory, I think. Oh, no, that was it. Everything5pound.com. It's just come to me. And that that's it. What I did... Oh, I've got a bit of fluff. I just changed my sheets earlier on. How often do you not change your sheets? Now, I do have OCD, so I change them probably a lot more than what I should change them. But what annoys me so much is when I shake the duvet... Look at the bingos, look. Look at them. Patoon, patoon, hit you around the face with them, I'll knock you out. Um, when I shake it, because I've got osteoarthritis in the old bows, and I, as well, um, oh, it feels so heavy and it really hurts. I'm like, <laughs> shaking my duvet. It's bloody heavy, all right? Heavy. But yeah, I have to change them a lot. I have to, I have to, you know what I mean? Anyway, so what I thought I'd do... So, remember them boxes I got from everything5pounds.com? Um, and I was going to keep them for putting people's nice presents in. That's not happening now. I've decided that the corner of my room, which is over there, I might show you once I've done it. I am going to do it in a, what's it called, shabby chic. Now, everything in here is diamonds, all right? So, in that corner over there, it's still there's loads of diamonds. But now I want to do shabby chic. So, I thought if I get like a... Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it, like a trellis thing, get it on the old wall, put a load of like dried flowers on there and then start like packing the boxes up like this. So I found this box, didn't I? Oh, let me open it. Someone might have left me a million pound. Hang on. Oh, sort off. Oh, open. They've given me a dozen. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, Oh, let me open it. I wonder if there's another one. Oh, my God. I'm so happy with that. I didn't know that. Hang on, hang on. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. Bear with me. I don't know if there's another one in there, but I can't get in there. Anyway, so it was this box, yeah? And um, I think it was $3.99. Where's... Yeah, oh, it was there. $3.99, right? See? And this was from Age UK. And I see the box and I thought, beautiful, shabby chic. And then I can put it like in the corner and then put them other boxes on top. But uh, that's the inside. But as I've just opened it, unbeknownst to me, because I've just left it in there, there's another box, a smaller one. I don't think there's another one in there. Let me, I have been trying to open it, but uh, not much luck. Come on. I need Cali in here to help me open it. Yeah, I can't open it, but there's a... Uh, that was inside it. So for the price of one. I'll let you know if there is another even smaller box in there. But I don't think there is because it's not open. It's really annoying me. I just want to open it. Why won't it open? Stupid bloody thing. Sorry, I'm coming off camera. No, I can't open it. So, that's pissing me off. Excuse my French, but it is. I'm getting the um. You wouldn't see me. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry, I tell you. So I'm green and all that. 
Anyway, yeah, so I got that for $3.99, but it is gorgeous, shabby chic. And I'm thinking, yeah, stack all them boxes up over in the corner there. Puts it like a trellisy thing. Oh, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Uh, then I got... So this was uh, £3.50. It's a size 18. It was from Isabel. And it's just like a high neck flary top, like, like a vest top for the summer in red. Because before you know it, before you can click them fingers, the sun's going to be shining. Yeah, so I thought, right, get that for the summer. Start getting all my summer bits and pain. <laughs> anyway, then I've got this. Now, it ain't really me, to be quite honest, yeah? But again, for the summer, I thought if I'm ever going, you know, for a little dinner or something. And I, it was a little bit pricey, actually. Size 20, and it was £7, yeah? And this is also from Isabel. Uh, and like I say, a bit pricey, to be honest. But I thought I've got these really nice necklaces and stuff. Like, I think it'll look quite nice. So it's kind of like a sequiny top, and it's like, yeah, it goes out like down, like down one side and up the other. But I thought, you know, like in the in the summer, say if I'm going out of night time, like for a dinner, and I want to look a little bit glitzy, but I don't want to wear a jacket because when you the thing is, women, you know, girls, if you've got a bit of a gut bucket, you'll know my situation. So you need to have. Um, I get sick to death of going out in jackets. Do you know what I mean? It's like jackets, 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 jackets to cover up the gut bucket. Um, or you have to have like baggy tops. But I thought this, with a nice white skirt, like a big silver chain, blue or a blue skirt and white shoes, um, I think it looked really nice. I actually really like it anyway. Um, like I say, it might... I wouldn't say it's a little bit more mature for me. I try and act like I'm 20. Do you know what I mean? I've got, to, I've got to try and just face the facts. I'm 50, but I don't look it. I mean, even the other day I was out with Callie and people just think that, you know, they think she's my mate or something. I'm like, no, I'm her mum. They're like, you can't be. I'm not like, I am. It's great. But, you know. Anyway, moving on, I then see this jumper. I was umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing. It was four ninety nine. It is a size 20. And this was from Age UK, Dan, obviously my end. But you know me, life is bling and all that. When I see the bling on the shoulders um, and down the front of it, it was calling me name, wasn't it? It was like, Lisa, buy me. So I did. Yeah, so it's a jumper. Uh, like I say, I mean, before we know it would be in spring, but uh, it'd be good for next winter. So, pound. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, got it caught in bracelet, didn't I? To you, that's Sainsbury's, isn't it? Oh, good old Sainsbury's. So yeah, that's where it was originally from. But I got it from Age UK for four ninety nine. Uh, then I got this, and this is a size 16, £5, from, I saw it first, and this was from Isabel, and it is a massive, big, baggy, white shirt, dress, a shirt dress, sorry, I'm saying shirt, and it's got a gorgeous belt, look at this, like, this belt on the front, which, again, you can just, like, pull around your hips and bag it over, uh, and it will fit me, because it's, quite a good size I mean I'm not sure if you can see but um yeah it'll definitely fit so I like that I like that quite a lot um yeah so as I say that's size 16 that's five pounds yeah so that and then the oh no I've got two more things left so then I found these earrings they were they're H and M says divided. They brand new. They were six. No, sorry. Yes, they were six ninety nine originally. Uh, I got them for one forty nine. Just some white earrings because white goes really nice with obviously dark hair. And I was thinking maybe. I think so. Look, white shirt, white earrings. Why not? Why not indeed? Uh, and then the last thing. The last thing on my list is this, and I really like this. 
far it was 449 they said an extra large and it was from AG UK and it's uh it's like a got a neck like that that's the neck freaking hell it looks huge on there it looks like it's gonna fit somebody's far don't know about a neck but no it is just for the neck so that goes around the neck and then it's like a big flouncy like flouncy I don't know what colour that is teal uh a tealy Oh, I don't know, it's teal. Anyway, uh, so as I said, that's an extra large, 449. I would say it's probably about a size 18. 18 to between 16 and a 20, I reckon, could get away with wearing that. But I really like this one. Beautiful for the summer. Nice. Um yeah, so excuse me, something up my schnoz pockets. Um, so that is what am I looking for? Cause I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Anyway, don't worry. I told you. The brain's going, isn't it? I'm only 50 and the brain, not even 50 yet. And then a few, couple, couple of, not even a couple of weeks, just over a week and a half, I think. But the brain, the brain is going. Should I tell you another joke? I would do. But can't. Book's under there, isn't it? Um, so I will say, just want to actually, I just want to say, cut my hair. Oh, yeah, I've got to have a shower. So, tonight, I'll tell you what I've got to do. I've got to, once I've done this, I've got to make me sober noodles and my chicken gyozas. All right, as for my dindins, then I want to go and clean my bathroom again for the millionth time in a day. And then I need to have a shower and a shave. And I need to shave my legs because I look like Grizzly Adams. <laughs> it's so airy. I mean, I'd show you. I would. I would show you if I could get my leg up that far, but I can't. They've got to be a good quarter of an inch there growing through. I mean, they're good for this weather, keep you warm and all. But they're not so good when you want to go out in a, you know, a, a, a tinier skirt, you know, type thing. I've got these nice shiny tights on thinking because I'm sitting there thinking, do I actually want to put my fake tan on tonight? Nah, I can't be bothered. But I will put a bit on. But um, I like my like my legs ultra dark if I'm wearing a skirt. So I can't be bothered. So I'm thinking I'll just maybe wear some shiny tights tomorrow. I'll just put a little bit of tan on and then the shiny tights. That's what I'm going to do with... I've got... Remember the... Uh, all in one that I showed you that I got from Ann Summers that Callie got me with the diamonds there. Wearing that tomorrow night. I'm looking at my outfit now. That tomorrow night with like a suspendery type skirt. Who do I think I am, eh? Uh, with some Damonte shoes and um, not sure what jacket. I'll have to try a jacket out when I've had a bath, shower later. Um, yeah, so anyway, enough of the jibber jabbering about me. Um, I'd just like to say again, thank you to everybody who's been, who's been watching me, who is watching me. Um, I've had quite a few new subs um, and I get some really lovely comments from you all and I read all of them and I do get back to all of them. Um, and I just want to say, if this is the kind of thing you like watching, because I, you know, I do a lot of well, so mainly hauls, charity shop hauls, or if like there's a sale one, like there is everything five pounds at the moment, you can't really go wrong, can you? So you know, I saved a lot of me old crimbo money, and now I've got a bit of birthday money coming in, so I've been able to order a couple more bits. Um, so when that comes, the everything five pound one is mainly makeup again. I like just thought, you know, for the price, seventy five p and stuff, you can't go wrong. I just ordered a few more bits. Pees me off though, because they charge like eleven pound for P and P, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so if you do like this kind of thing, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe, please click on your notification bell. That'll tell you every time I upload. Um, itchy nose again, itchy head, oh, I'd ever, if ever itches on me, I don't know what's going on, and um, I just want to say, it is Friday, have a lovely weekend, um, everybody, look after each other, look after yourselves, be safe, la di da di da I love you all very much, to the moon and back, to infinity and beyond, um, and I'll see you on my next video. Ciao!